To make the optional belly band, we need some peach cardstock, some uh, pattern paper. I'm using um, some leftover from April showers. I've got some little 3 8 inch magnets. Um, and I'm going to add a little chipboard panel on the front that I'm going to create from a cutout that came from the uh, 8x8 springtime paper. It's the little one with the spring, a secret garden quote on it. So let's get started here. I cut two strips of peach that were 2 inches wide by 12 inches long. And then I overlap them two inches to create a long strip. And once I had that long strip, I cut it 20 and a quarter inches long. So this peach strip that you see here is 20 and a quarter inches long. One other thing I didn't say at the beginning that we'll need is a strip of Tyvek. Now Tyvek is that kind of material that you often see in envelopes that's very difficult to tear. I, I don't even know if you can tear it. Um, I just buy, uh, I have a, I use it a lot, so I got um, a bunch of them from the office supply store. So I cut a strip of Tyvek to cover the back of the peach and put it down uh, with score tape along the length of it. Then I did a little scoring. There are two score marks here. One is at six and a half inches and one is at eight and an eighth. Six and a half and eight and an eighth. So that preps this peach cardstock. Now, before we add our pattern paper on here, we want to add our magnets. And I'm using these little 3 8 inch basic gray magnets and I have marked on the uh, peach cardstock where I want them to go. And I've got a line that is 5 8 in from the left edge and then they're kind of two upside down L's and then the two 3 8 inch from the top and the bottom. So there's like uh, it looks like this on on the on the strip with this being the edge. And I'm going to put a magnet here and a magnet here. And before I do that, I did chomper my corners using a quarter inch uh, rounding edge just to give them a, a nicer appearance. So, let me put two magnets down and these magnets, sometimes the, the sticky um, on their adhesive backing is not real strong so I'm going to put just a little dab of glue there just to kind of reinforce that. glue. So before we add the pattern paper to the peach card stock, we want to fold this around and find where the magnets are going to go at the opposite end. So let's do that. Remember these scores are here to help us figure out where the edge of the book goes. And then bring this around to the front. And I have it fairly snugly there. And then I've prepped these magnets by taking off their adhesive backing already. And they will naturally seek where they want to go. So those magnets are in the proper place. To hold that belly band, you can see it's holding on there nicely. 
Okay, so usually what I, I like to do is just draw a little circle around where they are because sometimes that adhesive isn't that strong and sometimes when you go to remove this they will want to shift. That time they did not. Now I'm just seeing if they're on there pretty well. That adhesive is holding pretty well so I'm not going to pick them up to add any glue underneath there. So now we can add our pattern paper. And just get the score tape backing off. Just get it started. I don't want to work this whole length at once. The odds are I wouldn't keep it very straight. And what I want to do before I get around is is put a little ring of glue just around the magnets and that helps them stay where we want them to be. Alright. Pull this tape back a little bit at a time. I'm stopping here at the uh, this first crease and making sure I'm going to go around there pretty nicely. Continuing down here. And before we get to the end, get rid of some of this tape backing, we'll again put a little ring of glue around our magnets. Don't want to put any right on top of the magnets, but right, just make a little ring, ring around them. And then I'm just going to put a little line of glue right here at the end. And then we can turn this over and trim off that excess. Okay, so just kind of work around those magnets a little bit at both ends to make sure that the glue is nicely engaged. And I'll just hit this end a little bit. Now let's see how this is going. You might have to encourage this bend where we scored before with our peach paper. Just reinforce that here gently. And so there's our belly band coming around. And now we'll add the little element on the front. So now we'll make the little decorative element that goes on top of the belly band. And what I've done is I cut a piece of medium weight chipboard that is two and a quarter inches wide by three and an eighth inches tall. And that's because that's just a tiny bit bigger than this uh, quote that I've cut from the cut of parts. And then I've prepped a piece of cardstock that is a half an inch all around bigger so that would make it three and a quarter inches wide by four and an eighth tall. So I've prepped it with some score tape on the back. Oops, I don't want to remove that one yet. So we'll just remove the ones in the center to begin with. 
what we're doing here is just another method of creating that uh, nice finished edge around this piece of chipboard. So you could also look at if you have the um, chipboard cutout uh, that the decorative chipboard that came with the paper line. Those would be an option to use as well. So again, um, as you recall from when we made our covers, I'm using my Perfect Trim ruler and I'm just going to cut off the four corners. And I have to bring this kind of close to me to see it. So hopefully it's still in the camera. So I'm just going to, this time I'm going to cut off all four corners. Still using that 0.0625 for the weight of the chipboard that I have. Now I did forget to put my insurance on here before I started so let me just do that quickly now okay and then as we've done before, we would train our sides to come up and around. And I will do that and then be back to show you what it looks like when it's done. So I've completed coming around the edges and by doing it this method I'm going to add our featured piece here on the front but then the back will be finished as well. So let's add this little cut apart which I've inked the edges a little bit. I've got a messy work surface here. I'll just turn it over upside down first to see about how much of a reveal I'm going to have. And then I can get it more centered. Give that a little burnish. And then this is meant just to decorate the belly band and uh, you know it's your choice whether you want to see this little rounded edge here or you want to hold it back a little bit so I've decided to cover up the end of the belly band and by placing it in this location I can see the, the words behind here if I keep the belly band kind of low on the book then I can uh, I don't cut off the little girl's head and so uh, let's get this attached so I'm just going, I'm going to use a little wet glue and a score tape so to protect my book I'm just going to put some um, patty paper behind here and I've, oh, I've made a little tick mark so I know where that I want to attach this. And I've put a little piece of score tape here to um, help hold uh, it in place while the glue is drying. And I think I'll shift it this way so that I can make sure that I'm getting it uh, centered. So... And I think I need one more piece of patty paper just to slide under there. So I'm just going to put some glue. Oops, that was plenty of glue. Get a little bit of that off. 
well, it kind of covered up my score tape a little bit, but that's okay. I just don't want to have that much glue there. I'll get rid of that one and put a clean one in here. Okay, so. I think that's in about the right place. Looks straight with the edge here, I think. Put this back on the other And there's our completed belly band. So it folds nicely over here. The magnets hold it in place. The book can stand up like this. It's not super sturdy, but it can. So that's the completed instructions for the Secret Garden Star Book. I hope you've enjoyed uh, watching me put this project together and it, that you would consider making one yourself. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.